Well, Nancy Pelosi is spoken. And she say uh, we must support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. And that is the reason I want to uh, convict uh, Mr. President Trump. Because you cannot do whatever you want to do in your last month of your administration and have a jail card free. That was her words. I love Nancy Pelosi. I mean, this woman is amazing. Uh, disagree uh, the way that she wants to unite the American people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Because uh, just by saying that, the American people, she is dividing us. And that is what I want to talk about. Uh, she quoted, uh, vice, uh, well, no vice president, the president of the United States of America, Joe Biden. And Joe Biden said that uh, we need to unite the American people. He did not say we need to unite the United States of America. So as you see, it's a, um, they are not really supporting and defending the United States of America Constitution. They are just picking and selecting what they want to do to remain in power or to gain power, as a matter of fact. I think it's only one solution to unite us, to unite the United States of America. Not just the United States of America, but the planet itself. And that is and that is taking control of the information the information that is the key the key is how we receive information or misinformation like uh, eloquent uh, uh, eloquently uh, the president of the United States of America Joe Biden uh, during his uh, inauguration said you are getting the news from somebody else <laughs> so he's telling you that he's conditioning you that because some if you get the news from Fox News and English control um, uh, uh, broadcast system if you get your news from uh, uh, the BBC London and PR, and you start listening to all the crap they speak every single day, your brain will get conditioned. Will will that these people are sales representative, are repeaters. They're repeating in a strategy to your head every single day. So now you have another another branch, uh, somebody else. Uh, uh, feeding you another different type of crap like American, American that you are an American and that you are a, uh, a color and that you are this and the other well you start believing that because all you do every single day is get up in the morning and go to work and listen to the television the world is coming to you via Froton you are a captive human. You, you, you reflexes are captives. And guess what? When I come along and say, hey, wake up, asshole. You're not somebody a freaking biology. And you are not a color. Guess what? I am the enemy. And, and that, is, that is how it works. And that is why they attack the capital. Because these people, is, they are completely conditioned. Their, their minds and now we call them uh, anarchists we call them white we call them uh, 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 white uh, um, nationalists and, they, and, and we keep attaching names and codes to these people that the reality is that they are United States of America national. They are being so conditioned by the same people that right now are in control. So when Nancy Pelosi say uh, we need to unite, she's, she's not really meaning that we need to unite. Now, 
What she's saying is, you need to unite with me. <laughs> you don't need to unite with no one else but me. You need to follow me. And that is the key. To, we need to break that because we are the United States of America. And that is why Esteban Rodriguez Miro, Bernardo Conde de Galvez, Marquez de Lafayette, George Washington, Franklin, and the rest of them, from Charles III to Louis, fought so, so hard to create this nation, to, to, make, to make this nation something different, to get away from biology, that uh, behaviors that we humans have of fear. And that is not the way to do it, to go up there and impeach somebody. No, the only way we can do this is by education. We need to start utilizing our information technologies to educate and, and stop that war in between information technologies and communication technologies. There is two different things. YouTube, uh, Facebook, and the rest of them, communication technologies. We can communicate freely to one another. Whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. Information technologies, that is a the industrialist just just captain you mind you condition your reflexes it's two different things when you can communicate and when you are a receiver a receiver remember how how it works right now i am sending sounds to you sounds that is called a sender a sender uh, YouTube, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, that they are the symbols, the language, symbols, the way we write, the way you, your senses receive the sound and the information. Those are called, those are called symbols. And you are the receiver, you're receiving the information. And that is the key. We need to break that. We need to make it real. We, we need to change and not to deceive and control ourselves, but to make ourselves free. To make ourselves free of thinking. No difference the uh, what the Greeks did uh, 2,500 years ago, or more now, you know, 3,500 years ago. Because we humans have been learning very rapidly in the past 150 years and we need to break that threshold and maybe Nancy Pelosi have an idea of how to do it but she haven't transferred that to me and sure Joe Biden he is not transferring that to me Joe Biden is nothing but a repeater he will repeat you that you are in American until he the way he dies because he's conditioned to be an Irish in the United States of America. He's not conditioned to see you as a human being, as an equal. He's conditioned to see you as a Negro, as a brown, as a white, as a Democrat, blue, and he say it on his speech, on his inaugura inauguration speech. We are pen against each other, blues and reds. There you have it. Go there and look it up for yourself. So Nancy Pelosi, when she goes up there and say, uh, we cannot let it go, we got impeached, we have a convict, hey, I'm all for it. This guy destroyed our nation. This guy uh, 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 utilized our citizens, our good citizens, to attack our house. And that should be uh, very bad. That should be punished. But at the same time, you made it possible 
you yourself, yes, you, the Congress of the United States of America, made it possible from Ted Cruz, from, from uh, Mitch McConnell, Nancy, all of you made it possible. So yes, what I am saying is, I am taking all of you, all of them, every single one of you, and I know I'm at this, this uh, uh, on the weak side because you are many, I am one, but I am correct. The only way that we can unite the United States of America is by telling the people of the United States of America, you are a United States of America national. You are no enemies of one another. We are indivisible. And start teaching them who really created the United States of America. And start thinking away out of the box, repeating what we have been doing since Reconstruction, dividing people to control them. We need to get away from that if we want to be great. Otherwise, we will collapse, no different than the Roman Empire, because our founding fathers were creating a new Rome, and those symbols are in the house of representative. I'm not making this thing up. So I think we need to look back to the beginning, look back to the Constitution of the United States of America. Support and defend it, for real. And uh, I don't know what else I can say. You know, yes, decondition yourself, recondition yourself. Recondition yourself and look at one another, not as uh, enemies, but as what you really are. Neighbors, brothers and sisters, with the same nationality and the same humanity around this planet. Well, saludos and uh, I wish Nancy Pelosi luck, one of my favorite politicians in the United States of America. Uh, you might ask, which is your uh, less favorite politician? I have to say, Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, Mitch McConnell, you from Kentucky. Saludos to the people of Kentucky. Saludos to the United States of America. Saludos to this planet.